Morning people, not a bad view to wake up to. So spent our first night in the uh, in the old off-grid caravan. If you're interested, there's a video about that uh, that we did previously, and uh, just uh, took it into a nice breakfast that Tam made. Got some uh, some bratwurst sausages there and a lovely cup of tea. Look at that. So. Um, What's the plan today? Well, what we're going to do is we're going to head off to Snowdonia because we're not too far away from it where we currently are based. So about what, 20 minutes? About 20 minutes away from Snowdonia. And uh, we've been to Ben Nevis, Fort William. So we thought, let's come and check out one of the uh, biggest mountains in Wales as well. So really excited to go and check it out. Really excited to go and see some more stunning Welsh views because this country is incredible. It's so beautiful. And uh, yeah. Let's go and get it done. All right, people decided to stop the car because uh, we have just uh, spotted something that's really nice and we've got to show you. Look at this. Wales. Look at this. The gift that keeps on giving. How beautiful is that? absolutely stunning i'll uh see if there's oh, anything over here as well got some nice little free little stepways over here and uh, i don't quite know where that leads to <laughs> right here we go guys this is what a trail is all about this ain't the start of snowdonia by the way if you're curious it's just uh we were driving and we noticed this and we were like well that's a bit of all right that's a bit of me let's get that on camera <laughs> oh. let's uh, get a bit further in there we go look at that how amazing is that eh respect Wales Guys have got a, an amazing country and people are all joining in their drives. He almost tail ended our car, that guy. Careful, mate. Jesus. All right, people. So, unfortunately, parking in Snowdonia, which we, to be honest, guessed was impossible. Um, we probably came at the wrong time. It was absolutely jam packed, but we found a little stopping spot here. So we're going to have to start the trail where these guys are starting it over here because they've got this, they've had to do the same thing, bless them. Um, and, uh, but where, where we stopped, I mean, I can think of worse places to stop. So let me just get down here. Whoa. And we'll show you. You ready, guys? There we go. This is where we have stopped off. So this is Snowden for you. Well, this is the area at least and uh this is where we're at so tam's just uh well, i don't know if she's doing back there can we play some swings suspecting my bag and then please get him quick he's got something in his bag <laughs> but uh this is what we've got currently and uh look at that guys this is incredible now one of the reasons why we're doing this video as well are you quite done there love bloody do you want to take this <laughs> ragging me around them like this <laughs> you know so one thing that we really wanted to do was we wanted to uh prove that actually you don't necessarily need to leave the uk to have an amazing time um we quite often on our channel will travel abroad go into interesting locations around the world but to be honest guys you don't really need to go all that far to see incredible beauty i mean look at that that is something else and doing a bit of hiking in these areas it's exactly what you need so we've got some provisions in here we've got water we've got a bit of food um and what i've done is i've had to be quite smart with this because we've kind of parked in an unmarked area um what i've done is i've pinned the g I say like literally there's no signal here at all as you're going to probably appreciate so uh what i've had to do is i've had to pin the uh 
GPS coordinate, uh, coordinates and then once we get into an area of a bit of signal then uh, whoa fly me lots of rocks once we get into an area of a bit of signal then uh, we'll be able to you know head back when we want to and find our location but get a load of that so we're going to start the hike now and we're going to experience this for ourselves so let's do it so we decided to uh, come up a little bit further just uh, to go and get a few more views before we start the trail and uh, it must be said <laughs> I've got to show you guys just just check this out this is mental look at this look we're in the bloody UK this is the UK well this is Wales to be honest this is a whole nother land <laughs> it feels like we're in a completely different world it's, it's, it's stunning and you can't make it out but there's an incredible waterfall down there and uh, I actually believe I could be wrong that there's a trail that starts here however I'm uh, I'm all for climbing down a hill but that's uh, probably where I draw my limits unfortunately I think my fitness uh, knows better but hey if you're fit enough there you go but look at that guys just soak that in for a minute right guys so we found somewhere to park which uh, has a path so we actually have a path to walk on now where we didn't before this uh, where we parked originally this couple would also park there and as we were looking for somewhere else to park just with a pathway so we could walk somewhere a bit more controlled they were literally walking on the side of the road but my lord there were so many cars and look down here look look at this i mean guys man this is like you know what i mean like you don't have to travel far like you know don't watch channels on youtube where people are traveling the world thinking oh i wish i could do stuff like that and i can't to be honest guys you could hop on a train jump on a bus take a, a flix bus there are so many ways to get to beautiful places in the uk you know what i mean and uh, take a coach ride and then you know take a train or swing down and there's a few train stations around here i mean trains aren't the cheapest option to be honest guys so i probably wouldn't recommend that flix bus might be your best bet or a coach of some description but you can do this as well you don't have to travel abroad to to go and see things like this you know this is a uh, similar to what we were seeing in uh in fort william sorry i got a shout now because we've got quite a few more cars turn up i mean we've got a whole host of bikes now <laughs> blimey <laughs> so uh we're gonna finally find a trail that we can start that's pretty cool just up there got this uh old building um but we're gonna find an interesting trail god look at that a little hut down there and uh yeah there's a youth hostel down here as well what a place you could stay and uh we're gonna find a trail to start and uh hopefully start hiking right guys and the trail finally begins we've uh, finally found a little spot where we can start the hike and uh we're on a little stony path at the moment mother nature whoa blimey <laughs> mother nature's unforgiving i was about to say mother nature is very impressive but Ugh. I don't know if this is man-made or if uh, <laughs> Tum's uh, showing me sympathy. Um, I don't know if this is man-made or if this is uh, just natural. If this is a natural formation, then quite impressive. But thinking about it, if people have walked these paths for years, this is how things will form. But this is the current view we have. Lo loads of these lovely little... I don't know what these are called, actually. Are these ferns, Tam? I think so, yeah. They look yeah. like ferns, don't they? Yeah. And uh, we're coming to a bridge over here. So let's go and have a close look at the view over here. Whoa, blimey. But you got you got some rocks and well you guys have witnessed my balance is uh it leaves a bit to be desired. But uh yeah, so far so good. So let's have a little look at this bridge. This rickety old bridge. <laughs> look at that. Oh look at that. It bows under your weight. Look at that. That is a bit of all right, isn't it? Eh? That's a bit of me. Just be careful on this bridge. It even wobbles when you walk on it. <laughs> you alright, Tam? Yeah, I don't know if we can go any further, though. There's nothing saying we can't. We'll just walk up here and see if there's any signs. So we're not entirely sure if that's someone's property. It doesn't that we don't see anything that's saying you can't walk down here. But equally, we don't see anything that says you can. So uh, we're a little bit, <laughs> a little bit confr uh, com confronted here. There's no lock on the gate though. I don't know. I don't know if that's. 
and expecting the farmer to come jumping out any minute being like hey get off my land mate I'd, honestly yeah, I don't know I'll go look over here and see if uh, see what's what see if there's a sign telling us that we can't hike around here but there's little stones and stuff and uh yeah what that's a public footpath okay Ooh, lucky we do not want to be strolling onto a farmer's land or a person a pri private land and being like right off you get the hell are you doing <laughs> you know what i mean like you know we want to we want to maintain our positive relations with the welsh people because everyone we've met in wales so far we've got on really well with and uh <laughs> we don't want to we don't want to ruin our streak we don't want to anger anyone you know as we always do you know we're still in the uk so i don't really class this as being abroad i'm not going to class this as country number 15. um i'm just going to class this as uh oh blimey i'm going to class this as you know a uh a little excursion more than anything but uh a cool excursion it is but look at that behind me look at that in front of me it's stunning so obviously i can't read welsh so i don't know what that means but uh I'm hoping that this is public land. I really do because I do not want to be strolling onto someone else's land. Hopefully if we see someone they can let us know. Seems to be some huh? I'm just gonna continue up here and just see if there's anything around this corner. One of the uh things about hiking guys I guess is that uh, there's a fire assembly point here but I don't know, it seems that... Oh, okay, there's something up here. <clears throat> I guess the trail goes on up here. So far, so good, Sam. <laughs> Almost. <laughs> Almost walked into that. Can you imagine? So, we do love hiking. We're trying to get our fitness levels improved. And where better to hike than... <laughs> where better to hike than Wales? Specifically, uh around Snowdonia and again I uh, I don't know much about where we are so I will be as respectful as I can and if I am on someone's property I'll vacate immediately I'm certainly not here to annoy or upset anyone but obviously just here to embrace and enjoy the Welsh culture and landscape you know we've got some Welsh cakes in the bag for sustenance if you've not tried a Welsh cake before if you live in England you can buy them from Sainsbury's <laughs> uh, but the best place to buy them is in Wales um, and uh, I think I mentioned yesterday in the vlog we did yesterday that we uh, we try to uh, get our hands on some Glamorgan sausages because I've made them before but oh, pardon me, well, I've never tried them and uh, could not find them anywhere here which is strange I was expecting to be able to find them because we went to Tesco but they were nowhere to be seen so let's just get up here whoa look at this pretty amazing someone's got the right idea they're camping over here that's a cool idea and uh whew, behind me I might have breath the trail moves on so we're going to continue and if we see anything particularly beautiful or interesting we'll share it but we're going to keep hiking so i'm sure you don't want to hear me huffing and puffing going up this rugged welsh terrain so let's keep going <laughs> all right guys so unfortunately for us it looks like our trail ends about here not there probably just down there somewhere where that dead tree is, where that dead tree is down there you see that tree that's just slumped over just over there the land gets whoa blimey zoom out the land gets very very boggy and uh we uh we had this before in fort william where my shoes got so sodden that i pretty practically got athlete's foot um because i had a long journey home yeah so muddy isn't it? and it was so muddy so uh a lot of the land around here is uh, obviously quite marshy, quite boggy, and uh, one wrong step and you're into a, 
pile of water. So actually, we've learned something. We nearly did. Yeah, Tammy almost did a few times, but we've learned a, a valuable lesson from this. Uh, actually, to be honest, so when we go hiking in the future, we might just bring a I don't know, maybe bring a some wellies with us just for situations like this because we would have happily soldiered on. But there's a body of water over there, which I'm assuming kind of seeps into the land. Um, but we're going to continue on and see if there's anything else worth looking at. Um, there, there, there must be something else around this area that we can go and hike around. I'd imagine this is one of many hiking trails. Maybe this is uh, one of the more kind of intermediate hiking trails, perhaps. Uh, me and Tammy are not, you know, um, experienced hikers by any means. Um, but we do enjoy nature. And to be honest as well, the way we look at it is, what better way to get fit than to get out into Mother Nature and to walk in, walk the land and uh, you know, Mother Nature really provides all the exercise you need really, all the hills and slopes. So, uh, you know, I'm trying to, before I join the gym, trying to condition myself, trying to get fitter. Um, and as part of that hiking is a good way to kind of start the process. And then when I join the gym, hopefully my conditioning will be slightly better. Um, so I can obviously push a bit harder, train a bit harder and burn more calories as opposed to going to the gym and trying to slowly build up my endurance. If I go into Mother Nature, I could save a couple of pennies, see some beautiful views. So if you're trying to lose weight or if you're trying to get fit, then uh, that might, this might be a good way to kind of begin, you know, start by conditioning and then start going to the gym or whatever. That, that's my plan. I don't know if that's a good one, but to be honest, as I say, if I start spending 30 quid a month just to slowly condition myself, when I can condition myself in the wilds, join the gym and then start focusing on proper training, then, you know, I'll be in a good, good place. So that's, that's the plan. That's why we're hiking and uh, what a better place to come to to do that. So we're going to keep looking and we're going to see if there's uh, anywhere you know, anywhere else that we can hike, any other trails. As I say, it's incredibly uh, busy in the parking area. That's kind of like the prime spot, unfortunately. So people have figured it out where the best place to hike is. But regardless, we have seen some very, very incredible views already and I have experienced the hike in these areas and uh, being surrounded by such beautiful tall mountains right in front of us. Um, and being in the heart of Snowdonia um, and getting to experience a, a beautiful park is, uh, is, is, is amazing. So we're really pleased we've done it regardless. And uh, as I say, I'm definitely going to come back to Wales at some point. We'll start the trip again. Uh, so yeah, we've only got this one hill to climb. A lot of the uh, hills we had to climb was on the way here. And the weird thing is, we don't really mind the hills. It's all part of forming endurance, you know, and uh, conditioning yourself to get fitter. Um, the more you do it, the easier it becomes. But uh, there's some rocks over here. That might be a better place to walk. Um, I wonder if I can see an example of boggy land. Here we go. If you can you see there, look how boggy that is. And my shoes and so the Tams have holes in them. So uh, oh, if you see rocks like this, that's uh, that's a godsend. <laughs> Very, very useful. Uh, I'm going to buy some better shoes for this journey or some wellies in the future and come back and do it again. But regardless, look at that. Not every day you see that, is it? Right, guys, so the journey doesn't quite end here, thankfully. Tabby pointed out that in the opposite direction where we were trying to do our trail, there's a, another trail that goes off up here. And strangely enough, all of the people we saw passing us on the way up we're walking down this way. So they must have had the same revelation. They must have been like, man, there is no way I'm gonna be able to climb over. It was, it was, honestly, you might as well have been jumping into a lake to get to where we wanted to get to. It was so boggy and it was so muddy. And it's not much better where we're hiking currently, but at the end of the day, you know, hiking isn't about glamour. It's not about glamour, it's awful. No way, come on guys. What the hell, man? That's disgraceful. There's no way to treat Mother Nature. Um, got to be careful because we've got some cows over here and these guys can be vicious, apparently. So got to be really careful on this trail. Try and give them a wide berth. But uh, you can see the trail is quite, uh, quite interesting. But Mother Nature carves out paths. Uh, work out how to take it. <laughs> there we go, done. And wow, it gets better, doesn't it? Look at this. <laughs> so, uh, there are some massive cows here though, so I'm not sure what I think about going. that. <laughs> as long as they don't charge us, because I've heard stories about cows attacking humans. I don't know how strong a cow is as well, like, 
You know, I mean, when you got what are they calves? Did you say, Tom? Yeah. Blimey, look! <laughs> <laughs> this ain't getting any easier. How the hell are we going to do that? <laughs> Where? Round? This? Yeah, walk that way. We're going to walk on that? Yes. She must be bloody mad. Right, I'm going to try and do this. And then, uh, oh, I, I think I understand what you're saying. Okay. I, sorry, I thought I was going to have to do some sort of balance beam stuff here. God, this is mental. What are we doing, Sam? <laughs> there you go, guys. We've done it. And then, just to impress you all, I will do some balance beam. Whoa! <laughs> Boy, me. <laughs> I hope you guys are impressed. I threw my life into my hands to do that. Oh, look at this. So there's some cows there. Going to give them a wide berth. I'm just trying to wonder where I can go from here. Because I believe that's a stream. It is. That's a stream. Oh, Lord. Okay. <laughs> it seems like we've got to go down there. <laughs> hey, look. Life is all about a challenge. Let's do it, Tam. I'm going to try and get Should down. get down that way. This way? Yeah. Okay, we're going to attempt it, guys. The last yeah. thing I want to do is break my ankle Ugh. on uh, North Wales. So I'm going to take this as slowly as I can. Oh, here we go. Get in there. And what I'm going to try and do is, is that a stable? I'm going to try and use my hands to guide me down here. So almost, almost made it, guys. I've almost done it. Look at that, guys. Look, there's a stream. It's all right, innit? Right. We're almost there, guys. We don't back down from a challenge on Team McGrath. We may not be... Ah, blimey! me. <laughs> well, almost... We may not be the healthiest and fittest, but we don't back down from a challenge, ever. You right there, Tam? Good love. Nice one. Right, let's see what we got. <laughs> we could have walked that way. Oh, well. Life's about the challenge. Well done, Tam. She made it as well. There's some calves here. Got to be so careful. Hey, guys. I'm not here to harm you. I'm not here to offend you. <laughs> Please don't hurt me. Cows can get ever so territorial when, uh, when faced with people in their calves but uh that's what hiking's about guys you've got to rough it up man you've got to just take on the challenges even if it doesn't seem possible you know within reason you got to... i analyzed it i looked down i saw some trees i thought i can grab onto them i was looking down as doing a little an analysis and analyze my own fitness levels and uh which aren't great but as i say i do a lot of hiking so trying to condition myself and uh yeah i decided that I was going to be able to do it after all um, and it seems like we're finally starting a bit more of a, a kind of dedicated trail I'm away from the cows as well which is a relief because uh, again I don't know if I, I've mentioned this story before but uh, my mum and sister bless them they, uh, they ended up um, being chased and attacked by cows because they strolled too close to the cows uh, calves and they didn't mean to either literally the calves were hidden in this little clearing and they just didn't see them wow let's look at this guys ready beautiful and uh hey it's not the end of it we won't come all, all the way here for nothing we've got some more uh we might stop here and have a little uh a, uh, a bite to eat we've got some welsh cakes but look at this look hey not bad so in regards to hiking and uh, taking trails, if you're not the fittest or youngest, to be honest, my only advice is just get out there and do it. You know what I mean? Just go and do it. You know what I mean? It's just be safe and be cautious and know your limits and slowly but surely build yourself over time. You know, we, uh, we didn't start by doing stuff like this. We started off doing small little trails in our local area and uh, the more we kind of got used to hiking around, whoa, there we go. The more we got used to hiking around, the more we could do stuff like this. So it's worth it, guys. Look at that. 
so we found another trail thankfully we're gonna sit here we're gonna enjoy our welsh cakes and uh yeah have a bit of a drink take in the scenery enjoy it soak it in and then see where the trail leads us so let's go Alright guys, so uh, as promised, we're going to try some Welsh cakes whilst we're here. Um, these are traditional bakery products from Wales and uh, try and open it 100 skill and uh, let's give it a go. Sorry Tan, can you take that packet off me love? <laughs> That'll just go tumbling down there. So it broke unfortunately. Yeah, mine's hard. Mmm, that's alright. Oh wow, that's really good. All right, Wales, slow down, guys. Man, you guys have got too much good stuff. Can't believe this. I'm getting jealous. Amazing. It's like it's similar to a scone. It's not. It's not anything near a scone. It's got its own its own kind of vibe. Obviously, uh, quite a bit flatter filled with raisins and it's quite a soft crumbly quite a crumbly uh, kind of dough if you can see in there look I think you can grab these from I think I mentioned that uh, you can grab these from Sainsbury's um, so if you're in England I'm not sure if you can grab them in Scotland I've never tried to look for Welsh cakes in Scotland when I'm in Scotland I usually just grab haggis because I absolutely love haggis but uh, yeah just enjoying a bite to eat and a drink along this view well worth it absolutely beautiful Alright guys, so unfortunately my camera's about to die, so I might have to end the, uh, I'm going to have to end the vlog here. We've got a power bank, but it's just died. So uh, thankfully we're not too far from the car, so we'll head back there shortly. But uh, yeah, we're going to have to close off the video here. But before we do, we'll give you one last view of this look. Pretty darn nice, if I say so myself. But we're going to continue, oh, the cattle grid. We're going to continue on this, uh, this final part of the trail now. Bit gutted that we can't get the rest of it on camera but technology unfortunately doesn't allow for us to uh get everything done the sheep's there communicating with each other and he's like come here there's some weird humans <laughs> um but yeah we're going to continue the trail on down here i think it will lead us back through and then uh yeah <laughs> sheep are cool man <laughs> in one of our videos you'll see uh, we actually camped in a field with quite a few sheep that's going to be coming up soon or it might be already posted I don't know I've not quite worked out the order of these videos but nonetheless whoa <laughs> zoom out for you guys there you don't see that but nonetheless it's been an incredible experience and uh, the hiking has been tremendous what an amazing country it's the hike look at that and it's on our doorstep and uh, yeah, I'd recommend it guys, if you get a chance, um, get yourself down to Wales. Not only that as well, the Welsh people, really friendly, really hospitable, and again the views are incredible. And uh, we went all the way to Fort William and uh, experienced hiking in the similar vein, loads of rugged mountains and beautiful scenery. But we'll finish off with this one last view, just here guys. As you can see, heading up there now to finish off our trail. Hope you have a great day. Really appreciate you watching. Hope you have a wonderful day. And if you do any hiking yourself, do let us know how it goes. And if you've got any tips for us, do let us know. But thank you for watching the video. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.